For many hairstyles, you need the different part lines. So in this video, I will show you how I part my hair. I will show to you few different shapes and how to manage them. Hopefully, you will get some help. I use for part lines tool like this. It's called dotting tool. I know it's not for the hair, but I think it's easier than a normal parting tool because there's a small dot on the end which you see better on this side. There's small dot on this one too. And that dot grabs the hair width. I cannot really notice the difference when I part someone else's hair, but when I'm doing stuff to myself, I think this is much more better tool than the normal. First, we're getting closer to the straight part lines. With this, the most important tip is that keep the pressure and speed even. Make sure that the tool will touch your scalp and keep the speed even so it's easier to draw a straight line. If I do it too quickly or too slowly, it won't turn out as nicely as it would be normally do. I often use also my face, so I place the starting point and then I watch, oh, I need to draw this towards my nose, so it makes a little bit easier when I can understand the direct I'm going to part. Triangles are fun and easy way to get the special look. So in this, I draw the triangle using the middle parting. Like this. Remember that you can always fix the part line afterwards if it's not good enough. When I do the curvy partings, I think the most important thing is that you can imagine the path you will draw. So before actually doing it, imagine the path you will draw. You can also use the practice strokes like this. When the movement is familiar to your hand, it will turn out easily. Remember again the even pressure and speed. With these techniques, you can create also any shape you like. In here, I'm creating the circle using the straight part line on side. First, I draw the half of the circle. Next, I can fix the half of the circle so it's more the shape I prefer and there's no edgy parts. As you can see, it doesn't matter if the shape don't be equal or pretty at all first. Then I make something about like this to the another side of the straight part line. And then starts the real shaping of the parting. Now you can see what you have and then shape it as you like to get more closer the look you like. Next I will show you how to create symmetrical part lines using the middle parting. 
First, you need, of course, the middle parting. With symmetrical partings, is maybe the most important thing that the middle parting is straight. Because otherwise, all the rest cannot be like you want it. Then, I create the first triangle on the left side of my head. Then I do the same to the opposite side. First, I measure the right size. Then I touch the right places on the other side. After that, I just remember the places I touched and when the tip of the tool will on that right spot, I turn. Actually, I don't know, does anyone else do it like I do? But I do it in this way and I cannot really teach anything else than what I do and how I'm used to create the partings. So here's my way. Then I yet do the comeback to the basic things and use the things I teach before creating the zigzag parting. With this, remember even pressure, even speed and imagine the parting you will create. With this parting, I used also the trick that I stop the movement when I want to turn, so the turning point will be much more sharper than it would be if the speed would continue all the time. The last, I will create the weavy parting. And also for this, you need the middle part line. Place the starting point and then start the weave. Again, even speed, even pressure. And you need to can imagine the shape you will draw. I think imagining is not that important if you part someone else's hair. But if you do for yourself, I think it's the key of everything because I cannot see everything I'm doing, so the imagine what I'm doing is like the third eye in this process. Here's again the most important tips. First is the even speed and the even pressure. Two is imagine the shape you will draw. This makes everything much more easier, especially if you part for yourself. And the last, but definitely not the least, practice, practice, practice. When your muscles will learn the right shapes and the pressure and the speed and everything, everything comes much more easier. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you could find some help from these tips. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thank you!